everyone. Thank you for watching this recorded video. Today we're going to be learning how to use BookFlix and ScienceFlix. So before we get started, let's take a look at what's going to be covered in this recorded video. So first we're going to be talking about BookFlix and what exactly is offered through that program. And then we'll actually log in and explore some of the different features that are available. After that, we're going to be looking at science flicks, um, talking about, you know, what are the options that are available there and logging into the program and taking a look at some of the different content features that are included with that resource. With for both, we're going to actually look also at the different parent resources that are available. So this is really great if you're a homeschool parent or if you're just trying to help your kids with um, some of the things that they're um, learning in school or just to support their learning over the summer or holiday. So first we're going to be taking a look at BookFlix. So BookFlix is an online reading program. It pairs a classic video storybook with related nonfiction books. So you'll see when we get into the program there's going to basically be a video paired with a nonfiction book um, that go together. There are some reader support tools that are really neat, um, including things that read the books out loud to your children um, that can really help them as they're beginning that process of learning how to read. Um, there's also educational games and activities to extend learning, lesson plan resources that you can use, which are really useful, especially if you're a teacher or if you're using this for homeschooling. And best of all, it's free with your library card. So let's go ahead and log into BookFlix. All right, so I've opened up a new browser tab here. So I'm gonna go to our library website, and that'll be cedarhilllibrary.org. All right, so this is the main page of our library website. And we actually have some buttons put here on the main page so you can quickly access BookFlix and ScienceFlix. So that's gonna be, BookFlix is this red button right here. We'll click on that. It's gonna ask you for your library card number. So you just type that in. All right, and then you can either um, skip the intro or just go ahead and click start. All right, so this is the homepage for BookFlix. So you can see that there are some different categories that it's organized by over here on the right hand side. Um, so there's, you know, people and places, imagination, um, celebrations, and even things about the alphabet or numbers. Um, so you can click on any of these content areas and it will pull up different stories that fit within that category. So we'll just go ahead and click on one of these. We'll do people and places. And then this is where you're going to see the storybook video that's paired with a nonfiction uh, story. This is going to be your video content and then this will be the nonfiction. So we can go ahead and just click on any of them to start looking at them. This is the one about Jane Goodall. So this is a great way to pair if you're teaching about um, Jane Goodall in school, or if you just wanted to, let's say your child is really interested in animals, um, this would be a good thing to try out with them. So you can click watch the story and it will play the video. Me, Jane. Jane had a stuffed toy chimpanzee named Jubilee. She cherished Jubilee and took him everywhere she went. All right, so there are some settings here with this video that you can adjust. Um, you have the volume option. You can pause and play whenever you need to. You can make this a full screen. Um, this is good if you're a teacher and you're just wanting to show this to your entire class on the projector. Um, and then you can also adjust this read along option instead. So let's say if you don't wanna have the captions listed there, it's gonna play it without it. All right, and then on the left-hand side, 
You're going to see some other menu options as well. It's designed to be in a specific order. That way you're reading the story, you're uh, watching the video first, and then there are some different activities that fit with these stories that will really extend their learning. So we'll just go ahead and do read the book. And this is a nonfiction book that's available for um, them to read. So you can do this read along option right here. You can zoom in on this if you want to take a look at certain things. You can just fit it to the page. You can of course expand this as well, um, which is great if you're trying to um, share it on the screen. So basically you'll just navigate through the book and read it out loud together. Um, as you're reading, you're gonna notice that there are some words that are highlighted in yellow. Um, this is basically key terms that um, are outlined in the book. Um, so you can click on it for a definition. All right, so once you've completed the reading the book section, now you can do the different activities that come afterwards. So there's- Read the clue below. Click on the word it matches. Match all the words to uncover a picture. Where a plant or animal usually lives. All right, so we have a clue Wild. here. Wild. Sorry. We have a clue here um, where a plant or animal usually lives. And these are some different vocabulary terms that we learned while we were reading the book. Um, so we can click on uh, whatever we Habitat. Be the nice answer, work. And it will An area that has been left in its natural state, wilderness. So it will basically give them some instant feedback on how they did. All right, so we'll click on the next Look at these here. three pictures. What happened first? Drag that picture to the yellow box. All right, so this is some good um, activities here for learning how to do like a sequence. Um, this is a really key thing for them to learn. Um, the puzzlers are going to kind of differ based on the stories. So you'll see different ones for different, different stories that are available. Um, so basically they'll just, you know, do these activities. This is a great way for them to practice those skills that they've learned in school. All right, so I'm gonna to go to this dive deeper, explore the web. So these are some different websites that um, they recommend based on the book that we read. Um, so this is a really great way to extend that learning that they've done um, with some different activities. All right, so if we go to Meet the Creators, this is gonna tell you more about um, who wrote this book um, and their little bio there. Okay, another thing I wanted to draw your attention to was this little icon that has an apple in a book. Um, this is gonna be where you can see a lesson plan and resources and tools that are available for that specific um, story. Or book. So we can click on lesson plan. This is going to tell you um, as a teacher what areas this is suited for that you can put that in for your curriculum. Um, it gives you some learning objectives and then some activities that you can do, you know, before you view the video, before you do the different activities, um, and then just ways that you can use this for assessment. Um, so this is really helpful as you're planning your lessons. Um, as a teacher, this can really, you know, give you a good guide. All right, so now I'm back on the homepage and I just wanted to draw your attention to some of the options that are here up at the top. You have a title search that you can do. So if you remember that there is a certain book that you were looking at, um, we can search for that. Um, so I remember seeing a pigeon book, so I'm gonna type in pigeon. And then I can see, okay, so there's a don't let the pigeon drive the bus one in here. Um, there's also an Espanol option here. So if you want your content in Spanish, you can just turn this on. And then whenever you go to Earth and Sky, you're going to see that these are um, the videos and books that they have that's available just in Spanish. So that is a really helpful tool there. You'll also see that Apple icon over here as well. Um, if you click in here, that will take you to the resources and tools. Um, and this is a really good part of the website if you are homeschooling your child or if you're a teacher, um, because what you can do here is you can actually search for specific content 
And you can even filter it based on what you know about your child. So if you know that they're interested in a certain um, thing, or if you're teaching them about something specific, you can look at that kind of category. Um, you can look at how long these videos are. And then if you know your child's Lexile level or you know your student's Lexile level, you can even search within there. Um, so this can be really helpful. Um, you can also search by grade level too. So if you have a little one, um, this will show you just specifically what applies to them. So this is really great to really make this more personalized for your kids and really fit at the reading level that they need. So that's a title library. If you go to resources, this is going to tell you some more information about how to really use this resource. Um, so I would definitely recommend taking a look at this when you first get started, um, because it'll teach you how you can kind of extend what you're doing with each of these different activities. So you can really make the experience for your students a really good learning experience. There's also the help button in here. Um, this is just going to give you some, you know, common questions that they get and how you can use some of these elements. Also on the homepage, you're going to see a featured pair. Um, so this is something that they put out um, and update every once in a while. Um, so you will notice here, this is a... Oh. <laughs> This is a story called The Great White Man Eating Shark, um, and then a nonfiction book about um, shark pups. So um, this is always a great thing to check out as well. All right, so that is the gist of book flicks. So we'll go back in and we'll take a look at science flicks. All right, so you might be wondering what exactly is available in science flicks. So Science Fix is a digital resource that teaches about a variety of science topics. It also has reader support tools similar to BookFlix, and there's a bunch of different activities that students and kids can do to deepen their understanding of different science concepts. It's designed specifically for grades four and up, um, but there's also lesson plan resources. So if you're homeschooling or if you're a teacher, uh, you definitely want to try checking this out. And of course, just like BookFlix, it's free with your library card. So let's take a look at how you actually access ScienceFlix. All right, so I am back again here on our cedarhilllibrary.org website. Um, and as I'm scrolling through, similar to where BookFlix was, it's going to be right underneath that in this little blue button. So I'm going to click on ScienceFlix. It's going to ask me for my library card number again. And now I'm in the homepage for Science Flicks. So you can see here, there's a lot of different topics that they cover. Um, so it's broken down based on that specific kind of category or type of science that it's uh, teaching about. Um, so you can kind of just look through and see, you know, what you're wanting to find more content about. Um, so if you're teaching your kids about, um, let's say the planets, um, or they're very interested in like space and things like that. Um, so what you can do is you can just click on any of these topics here. So we'll just go to the solar system. All right, so similar to what we saw with BookFlix, the layout is gonna be kind of the same. Um, so there's gonna be videos that this kids can watch first, um, then they can read more about it, um, and then dive deeper with some different activities. So we'll just do, I'm just going to play some of the video just so you can see. We can only see one star shining during the day. All right. And then if I wanted to read more to learn more, I can just click on that. And then it's going to give me a lot of detailed information about um, our solar system. Once I've read this content, I can change this to um, a different activity. We can dive deeper. Uh, but before I do that, I did want to mention that there are some great reader support tools up here um, if you are uh, working with your kids on any of this. Um, so you can turn read aloud on and then just click on a sentence um, to have it read out loud. To Imagine you. you are on a starship deep within interstellar space. Heading toward. All right. So you can just read that whole paragraph there. Um, there's correlations, which will show you any of the standards that fit. So since I'm um, pulling this up in our life, we're in Texas, this is pulling up um, the teaks that fit with um, this content area. I can look up a word 
So this is just a quick way to get into the dictionary. Um, and then I can even change my reading level. So um, there's kind of like a base of where you are at um, and you can increase that so that it's more complicated um, and more detailed based on kind of the level of your children. Um, you can also change it to Spanish if you need that language option. So I'm going to go ahead and click dive deeper over here on the left. And this is going to let me see some more activities that I can do um, with my students or with my kid um, from here. So I can read more through some of these different links. There's also videos that I can watch as well. All right. There's also an explore more option here. And I love that these areas are broken down by Lexile level. So you can really make it fit with, you know, your child and how they, um, what they need. So you can click on any of these and it will bring up some more detailed information. We'll look at related websites. So if they wanted to learn more about the sun, here are some good websites that will um, have some different things that they can do. So this one's even from NASA here with some different games and things like that. There's also a science lab um, and this is going to give you some different ideas for different activities that they can do as they're learning about this content area. All right, so I could even use this if I was a teacher as something as a project that we could do in class. What do you think is going to um, give you some questions that really dive deeper and then show what you know is going to give you a quiz. Um, so you could even pull this up with all of your kids if you're teaching. Um, and have them answer together as a whole group if you needed to. And then lastly, there's a careers option. Um, so this is going to teach you more about, um, you know, what are some options if you're really interested in this and this is what you want to do for your uh, career. All right. So that's how you browse the different topics. You can also look at this experiments tab over here, and this is going to show you some different ideas on things that you can try out, whether that's in your classroom or at home, um, that teach different science concepts. Let's look at the lava lamp reaction. Um, so you have, you know, a hypothesis here, the materials that you'll need, and then it teaches you you know, what to do, like the different step, and then you can see, you know, what the results were and come to a conclusion about what you think. There's also a careers in science tab here. Um, so this is gonna give your kids more information if they're interested in um, a job within a specific scientific field, they can learn more about that. So let's say I have um, some kids that are really into ecology. Um, they can learn more about, you know, what does that look like in the real world and what kind of training they might need to get or what kind of degree or majors they might need to do to become an ecologist. There's also the science news button here as well. This is going to just give you some different things that kids can check out um, that apply to um, that time of year or maybe something new that just happened. It will relay these articles for them in like a kid-friendly way. Um, so you can see here, this is you know what they might be able to see in the sky if they were <laughs> looking up um, at nighttime during these months. I do want to talk about some of the options that are here up at the top. So there is a search feature here. Um, so you can enter a specific keyword um, or a topic area and find all the content that works with that. So let's say I'm going to look about plants. It's going to show me all of the content that applies for my search. So I can learn about the plant kingdom, uh, maybe about botany or photosynthesis. It just depends on what I want to do. And for each of these different articles, you'll see that the Lexile level is listed here. So it gives you a good idea of whether it's appropriate for your child. And of course, this is all categorized based on what kind of material this is. So whether it's an article, a website, um, or maybe like a video or a timeline that they can watch. There's also a resources and tools button. So if you click on that, um, this was going to give you a lot of teacher resources that will be really helpful, whether you're a homeschool parent um, or a teacher in the classroom. Um, so you'll have lesson plans, quizzes that you can take from, project ideas, um, and other downloadable material. So you can just, you know, take a look at this and explore it further um, based on what you are teaching in class. There's also a help button up here at the top, and that's just going to give you some more information here about how to use some of the different resources that are available in here. Um, so I definitely recommend taking a look at that. This even has where the Lexile level ranges are for each grade level. 
Um, this is if you're not really sure where your child fits, um, you can take a look at this as well. All right. Well, thank you for watching this tech tutorial. I hope you learned more about how to use book flicks and science flicks and are excited about using some of those different content areas that are available in there with your kids or with your students. Um, I think it can be a really great benefit for them as they're learning. If you like this video, make sure to click like at the bottom. We'll be pushing out some more tech tutorials on this channel. So be on the lookout for some more helpful things as you're using some of our library resources. Thanks again.